Hey guys, Blue Green here. Today I have a special video for you guys. We're going to be doing a tier list, a Mark Hurtwee tier list um, I'm going to go through. However, this is not going to be like your normal uh, tier list. I know you're seeing there's like all 32 tracks and you're like, oh yeah, Blue Green's just doing a tier list. Um, yada, yada, yada. Well, actually, I'm going to be doing a tier list of the regular 32 tracks in the game for the mock bike, as the title probably suggests. I'm going to be going through all 30 tracks and placing them into five categories I've kind of devoted. So, yes, yeah, starting off with Bowser's Castle Wii. Obviously, this is my track, and I really, I, I really love racing on it. It's my favorite track in the game, and for me, this is an instant counter pick. But for the mock bike, I am going to put it in the second from top tier. There are notable advantages, uh, most especially is the glitch, uh, the ultra which is no stop a lot easier with Daisy than Funky Kong. However, it's a pretty high level shortcut, so I can't say confidently that that's a shortcut that is an advantage to everyone, just some of the really good mock bike players. Um, but there are some other advantages. There are some sharp turns that are pretty easy to trap, and if you're on the mock bike, you can maneuver pretty easily around them um, versus Funky Kong. However, there are still some straightaways, and Funky Kong overall is going to get more speed on the track, so I can't say it's an instant counter pick, but I do enjoy racing here, and there's a lot of upside with the mock bike. Uh, next up, we have Coconut Mall. I wanted to think about this one a little bit, but I'm probably going to go between neutral and favorable. And, oh yeah, I, I'm doing this blind, by the way, guys. I didn't. I don't have this like written down or anything, so you're going to react with me. Um, I'm going to put Coconut Mall in the unfavorable. There's a lot of straightaways. Um, and, I mean, there's a few sharp turns I'm trying to think of where you can get some advantages, but overall the amount of straightaways, there's not really a lot of super um, maneuverable tight areas that you can trap where you need the mock back maneuverability. Uh, and just enough straightaways, I think that Funky Kong is a pretty clear advantage. So a little bit unfavorable for Coconut Mall, but nothing ridiculous. DK Summit, um, I'm thinking neutral. I'm going to go with neutral. So um, there are some tighter turns on this track. Um, that I think the mock bike has an advantage, um, particularly after the cannon at the top. And I do think there's some advantage to the shortcut. Um, the double, I think the double is easier on the mock bike just because you're a little bit floatier. Um, I think the I think the mock bike is better for the double cut. And there's just so many boost panels where the mock bike technically is a higher mini turbo on the mock bike, and that's important because there's so many um, boost boosts and tricks and stuff that you're not really going to get the Funky Kong you know, straight away really speed advantage. So it's neutral. Um, next up we have Daisy Circuit, um, which I feel like I'm going to put in neutral. Um, leaning notable advantages. Um, there is the pretty sharp hairpin turn um, at the end, which the mock bike has a pretty good advantage on. And the tunnel um, near the beginning with the boost panel jump, uh, you can dodge some items in there with the mock bike maneuverability, but still, I don't think you're going to get a huge advantage. There are some straightaways. And, you know, I'm going to say it's pretty neutral overall. Daisy Circuit's a very neutral track in general. Uh, dry Dry Ruins. Um, tempted to go neutral, I think. Maybe a little bit unfavorable. Uh, I'm going to go... No, I'm going to go a little bit favorable, actually. Um, there, are some, there are some areas in the tunnel with uh, um, the wall glitch that you can have you know, some extra maneuverability on the mock bike, but overall, there's a lot of straightaways and um, all the shortcuts, like double, not double, the ultra cut, um, the sand hop at the beginning, there's no really advantage to having the mock bike on them, so I think Dry Dry Ruins is a little bit unfavor unfavorable, uh, but nothing ridiculous. Grumble Volcano... Um, Again, I'm leaning between neutral and unfavorable for Grumble Volcano. Um, so Grumble Volcano, there are some sharper turns, but nothing ridiculous. And um, the main attraction is the Lava Respawn Glitch, which it doesn't really matter what vehicle you're on. Um, there are a few traps at the end. Um, I'm going to go neutral for Grumble Volcano. I feel like that there's enough sharp turns that I like the extra maneuverability of the Mach Bike. There could be a lot to avoid. I know the ending. You can literally see it here the, with my mouse. You go on the right side, and then you merge onto the main road before the end. That is a cluster F in every lap three. 
and I like being on the mock bike and just being able to avoid some stuff. And that last turn can be really hard to make on the Flame Runner. Um, so I think there's enough of an advantage to say this is at least neutral. Also, inside the actual volcano, there's a lot of traps people can drop. I like the maneuverability, and the main shortcut is just as effective on the mock bike as Flame Runner. Uh, next up, we have Koopa Cape, um, and I'm leaning towards um, a notable advantage here because there are some pretty sharp turns. Um, there's a, there's that one hairpin turn which I really like the mock bike, and there's the ending, um, including in in the tunnel where I think that it's pretty favorable. Although I'm going to go neutral, like high neutral here, um, because I mean there's still a lot of straightaways where Funky Kong is going to do well, um, but the water overall is kind of a neutralizer because you're going at a similar speed. And I could argue the shortcut at the end, you can take it a little tighter with Daisy, but nothing crazy. So I'm going to go neutral, kind of neutral high. Next up, we have Luigi Circuit. Um, unfortunately, I have to go unplayable here. There's only going to be a few tracks in my unplayable section, but Luigi Circuit is one of these. You just have so many straightaways where you are just disadvantaged. And this includes also if you come up against like a spear player or something. Just so many straightaways, um, you're going to be losing speed. There's no advantage really to even the shortcut at the end. I mean, people say it's easier with the mock bike. I don't, I don't think it really matters. Um, it's a luck track anyway, but I'm not going to use that to say. If you're in a 1v1 you know, setting with a funky gun player and you're using Daisy as I am, Luigi Circuit's unplayable, I'm sorry. Um, next up we have Maple Treeway, which I am also going to have to unfortunately go in favorable. Even though it has a good amount of sharper turns, just the amount of places you can get bumped off. And this is a big knock on the mock bike when you're in these huge flame runner rooms. You get bumped around like a pinball. And Maple Treeway is a lot of places that you can fall off. And if you're not falling off, you're getting bumped in a place where you're slowing down. There's just a lot of places you can get bumped off. I've not I've had some not so good times playing Maple Treeway. And similar is Mario Circuit, also unplayable, especially in 1v1. The track is just so open. You can just cut the lines tight with Funky Kong. There's no even hint of a hard turn. Um, there's no shortcut or shortcut that needs difficulty. The roads are so wide that you don't really need to worry about being able to maneuver items and traps and you know tight spaces. So yeah, no advantage at all. Um, if I'm on Daisy, I am staying, staring clear of these tracks. Um, and we got we got another one, Moo Moo Meadows, um, <clears throat> which unfortunately I, I have to also go and play well here. Moo Moo Meadows is the same deal. The shortcut is at the beginning of the lap, so you're essentially just relying on lines to hold your lead. And there's that ending part of Moo Moo Meadows um, is just very very clustered, and you can just get bumped around and get bumped in the grass and get bumped into the mole. And just your race can just go down the drain because the Funky Kong is bumping you around, um, and it's just hard because you're you're forced to take this small line between patches of green that is very narrow, and you can just get bumped, and your race can be down the drain lap three. So Moo Meadows is very brutal to race on the mock bike. I don't recommend it at all. Similar issues with Mario Circuit and Luigi Circuit, otherwise too. All right, we're now heading to a better track that I like to play is Moonview Highway. And I'm also going to put this in the notable advantages. I don't know if I can go instant counter pick because I haven't like truly dominated on this one, but it's up there for sure. And it's probably, um, flirt. I think at least flirting with instant counter pick. Uh, just maneuvering the cars is very nice with that extra turning radius um, that the mock bike has. Being able to take that inside line. You can see it with my mouse at the top of this hill right here. You take that inside line, inside the cars. Yes, Funky Kongs can do it, but it's a lot more pleasant with Daisy. Um, it's a boost panel track, so mini turbo is generally an equalizer. Again, Daisy with an advantage there. Uh, but yeah, mini, mini turbos, boost panels, those are always equalizers. Um, and combined with those sharp turns and being able to the need to maneuver vehicles, Easily, um, it's an advantage. Uh, the one thing that I would say is a little bit of a knock on Moonview Highway is because you're Daisy, you're getting bumped around a lot. You can get bumped off of boost panels, um, which isn't like the end of the world, but you're going to lose some speed. So that's a factor. I've been hit by a Funky Kong that's boosting and just been bumped sideways off of a boost panel. You can't get bumped into vehicles also, which it's happened. You know, it happens more than if you're using Funky Kong. But those are smaller um, disadvantages. I think the pros... Pretty strongly outright the cons of Moonview Highway as a mock bike player. I really like to go here, and it is a track I do at least look at counterpicking. I wouldn't say it's a go-to counterpick like this tier, which we haven't had a track yet, but it's up there. Uh, 
Next up, we have Rainbow Road, which again, I, I'm sorry guys, but Rainbow Road is unplayable on the mock bike, and this is the most unplayable track uh, by far, I think, because I cannot go through the starting. Um, I cannot, I cannot get through the first ten seconds without getting bumped off. I'd say seventy-five percent of the time. Sometimes it's better to start off in last place, actually, and. Rainbow Road is such an elimination track. Even with all those boost panels, it's really hard to get caught up, especially in a pro room once you've been bumped off at the beginning. So you're already kind of eliminating, front running, doing really well on the track. And even if you're up there, a funky gong could just, just bump you off at will anyway. And you can't really bump them off the same way you get bumped off. And yeah, there's straightaways. Yeah, there's, you know, quote, shortcut, tight turns. But just the fact you can get bumped off at all times, it's unplayable. Next, we have Mushroom Gorge, which is just, I don't know, Mushroom Gorge is just so Mario Kart in so many ways. Mushroom Gorge, down to unfavorable. Um, high unfavorable, but I, I, I do, I am thinking Mushroom Gorge. There's enough straightaways that um, you are going to be losing a little bit of time versus Funky Young. Even though, again, it's a hectic attack and I like my maneuverability, just in a 1v1, it's going to be hard to win as Daisy. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Ghost Valley 2 is interesting. Um, do I want to go neutral here? I'm trying to think. Ghost Valley 2, you can get bumped off a lot, but it's a survival track. You need to avoid... Yeah, I'm going neutral here. Um, Ghost Valley 2 is a survival track. If you get bumped off or hit more than about one thing, your race is down the drain instantly, and it's very hard to get caught up. Um, there is this... You can Again, you can see it. It's nice. This shortcut here, right like that, you can take. You can cut off... Uh, you can cut off some of the track on the mock bike very easily. And with that turning radius, that whole, I don't even know if I'd call this a shortcut because everyone takes it, but that line, that route is a lot more pleasant on the mock bike. People can throw stuff there and you're trying to avoid stuff. Uh, it's nice. This track has some sharper turns. I like the advantages. However, again, it's a very short track and you do want speed. And a Funky Kong can bump you into stuff and you can also your race end that way. You can even get bumped off. I don't see myself getting bumped off a ton on this race compared to the other tracks that don't really have like a, a barrier. But that is a con. You can get bumped off on this track. So overall, I'd say neutral. Uh, but there are a few nice strats and just a few things to watch out for. Next up, we have Mario Circuit 3. This is the instant counter pick. Well, there's more than one, yes, but Mario Circuit 3 is an instant counter pick. There, there's really no two ways about it. Um, this is such a tight, hectic track that there are traps and stuff everywhere, and often it is actually hard to avoid them because you're coming around a blind hairpin turn. And suddenly there's a fib or banana or backspam green in your face, and you have no time to get out of the way usually as Funky Kong. And it, it's just chaotic. And some of these turns are just legit hard to even make with Flame Runner, um, especially if you get bumped or such, or you don't know to, you know, speed you a spin drift. There's just turns that are hard to make on Funky Kong. Um, and not only, in day, not only on Mach Bike can you make these turns, but you can really just get a much better line over Funky Kong, um, including some of the absolutely broken shortcuts you can take with Goldens on this track. There are times I pull Goldens triples for the main hairpin turn shortcut towards the end of the track, and it's almost just cheating. The amount of space you can cut off with the mock bike versus Flame Runner and then just just legitimately front run and gain on Funky Kong's the rest of the race, and just that one hairpin turn, you all know what I'm talking about, halfway through the track, right here, this hairpin turn, just plays bananas upon bananas and fibs everywhere. And those Funky Kongs, they, they are either going to hit it, slow down so much that you gain like two seconds on them, or probably go into the off-road. Um, that hairpin turn is very difficult to make the Flame Runner. So as a Mach player, instant counter pick. I'm going to go neutral. I, I, this is leaning on neutral and favorable, but I don't think it's... Some of these tracks where like either there's it's like all straightaways, or there's some... Um, major issue like you can get bumped off or something test factory does have a few sharper turns and tight spaces where i do like the mock bike handling um again i think i think all shortcuts are easier on the mock bike virtually i think that the late cut is easier on the mock bike just because of turning radius even if it's small that's my opinion um i think that the conveyor belts uh especially making it tight very easy to make the conveyor belts a little more comfortable with the mock bike turning radius also the tunnel well, there's a few tunnels, but the tunnels in general, people can trap them. I like the mock bike turning radius. 
uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I, it's there's, there's some advantages. Um, the disadvantage, I think, is really just there are enough straightaways that I would, you know, prefer being on Funky Kong, but there's also some pros, so bounces out. Warrior's Goldmine <clears throat> is going to be down there on the list because there are just you can just get bumped off almost everywhere. Although I don't, I don't know if I can truly call this unplayable because there are a few sharper turns, but I don't know because there are key areas, there are a few tight spots. I'm going to go unfavorable. This is unfavorable, leaning on unplayable, but I can't go unplayable. Um, ob obviously, you can get bumped off a lot of places, and there are a good amount of straightaways, but I wouldn't call it entire straightaways for the track. And it's a pretty longer track, which is fair. I feel like a track like Rainbow Road, it's very hard to catch up on because of the boost panels. Wars Gold Mine, I think, is at least fair, where there's stuff you can think about, like setting traps, reacting to traps. And uh, I think that, that um, there are some of the dips where, like, the the rail where like the track will dip and then like rise back up. There's a lot of traps that you set there that I find near impossible to avoid on Flame Runner, but at least somewhat comfortable to avoid on Mock Bike. So there, just for that real pro, I think of avoiding some sneaky traps is why the Mock Bike isn't going to be an unplayable. But it's pretty close. I just I can't put it on the tier of tracks that you can't are unplayable in a one v one. I can't put it on. Um, the tier of Rainbow Road, which is unplayable for so many reasons, but it's down there. I don't, I don't think it's a fun track to play. There are also some straightaways, which is not, not the nicest. Um, Bowser Castle three, uh, neutral to notable advantages. I'm trying to decipher here, because the thing is, there are a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to go notable advantages. So here, here's the thing about Bowser Castle 3, which is in common with Bowser Castle Wii. There's one shortcut glitch, Ultra, which is busted. But I think it's actually a greater advantage than Bowser Castle Wii. The BC3 Ultra with the Flame Runner is very difficult to make. It's not practical as much in a race as the Mock Bike where you just line up and do it. Um, so that's a huge advantage. And also, there are some pretty tight turns. Um, that you can still make on the flame runner, but it takes one trap. It takes a a fib or you know a banana in a, in a tight turn. And suddenly you're hitting the wall. You're slowing down. Where on the mock bike you can probably just angle your drift a little different, and you're not slowing down or hitting the wall at all. But I can't ignore BC three has a lot of straightaways. So the flame runner is going to gain, and there are some more open areas where you can get bumped and either get mess kind of your race quote messed up or you can just get bumped off again it doesn't happen a lot i have been bumped off though and i think that if there were less straightaways and open areas this actually would be an instant counter pick but um flame runner does have some advantages so i'm gonna say um the second tier um for bc3 Shy Guy Beach. Um, Shy Guy Beach is interesting. I'm kind of, again, leaning towards between neutral and notable advantages. Um, uh, there are straightaways, but I'm going to go notable advantages, I think, because these areas where you have to hop over the water and if you don't want to slow down, first off, the mock bike is a higher, by a notable amount, off-road stat, so that's a factor. This track is technically 100% off-road, even though um, well, I mean, it is, but they, it's like the level one of like level seven off road. So it's like the lowest amount of off road. So it barely matters, but it's still off road. So I think there's a factor. And the water's like, I don't know, level two, level three for off road. Like the water slows you down if you get in the water a lot more on Funky Kong. Um, so that's a big, pretty big factor. I wouldn't say there are. Uh, there are some sharper turns, particularly at the ending. It's a pretty condensed base. So people can throw stuff at you. It's a track where there's some tight spots. You want maneuverability. Also, like the six islands you have to hop over in the mid to late, mid to end of the track is another area you want some maneuverability. Um, you can cut some cut some tight corners if you have like a golden or something or a star in the water. And I like the mock by turning radius for that. And the sand also, when you turn, you will drift a certain way on the sand where. Uh, it's a bit like Sherbert Land, but not as extreme uh, as the Mockery player. So next up, we have DK Mountain. This is going to be the second, and maybe, um, well, we'll see. I'm not going to spoil it, but um, this is also going to be an instant counter pick. 
is DK Mountain. Uh, and this might be the counter pick, honestly, of, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to describe Mario Circuit 3, but it, it's right there with Mario Circuit 3. Um, as just just a go-to counter pick in a worldwide. I don't care if you like or dislike Mar DK Mountain, you will love DK Mountain if you're a serious mock bike player online. And that is just because it is just sharp. The second half of the track is just endless hairpin turns. And even the first half, um, you have a pretty sharp turn after the cannon. But the second half of the track is just endless hairpin turns. Trap all you want, dodge everything all you want, and just the shortcut. You can see it here on the, on the actual track. A little picture here. But the shortcut is just infinitely easier on the mock rig. You, 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 know, you don't have to worry about trapping it or getting having someone trap it, um, you can just maneuver easier. That just the hitbox radius of like Daisy, and the mock bike vehicle is smaller than the Flame Runner. You know, I think you save like a quarter of a second on the on the mock bike or something. Like the bridge at the end, a lot of people put traps on that, and if you're using Funky Kong, it can be really hard to turn. I don't know why, but the mock bike is just a lot more like I guess floaty in the air and you can avoid those bridge traps a lot easier believe me that matters that's the end of the race so it is a brutal track if you have a mock bike player and you're not on the mock bike and they know what they're doing but i love this track and you will too if you use the mock bike Morris circuit uh gcn i want to go notable advantages here i think um there are straightaways and sharp turns um but also i don't know if the amount of straightaways is still an advantage where I can't confidently say. No, I'm going to go neutral, but very high neutral here on Mario Circuit uh, GCN because there are a few straightaways where Funky Kong is going to get a pretty good advantage. Um, the bigger shortcut, we go around the chain chomp. I mean, you don't really have any real advantage on the mock pike. I know there's some. Like, spoiler alert, um, DK Parkway has a shortcut that's all, and then the track that's way easier at the mock bike than Flame Runner. Um, Mario Circuit GCN doesn't really have that. I think the Chain Chomp shortcut is about the same equally. Uh, there, there's still two straightaways where you're going to lose a little bit. And there are a few sharp turns. There's this sharp hairpin and another one. They're not sharp like the Mario Circuit 3 ones where you can just trap them and your Funky Kong's almost hitting the off-road. But they are, it's still a positive. It's pleasant to drive on and not have to worry about hitting as many traps or going the off-road. So I'm going to go neutral, kind of neutral high here. Uh, it's, it's still, you know, you have some straightaways that are annoying. But overall, a few nice areas to have an extra turning radius. Um, Peach Beach is very low, and in fact, I pretty much want to go and play well here. I'm going to think about it, um, and I'm going to do it. Um, Peach Beach is unplayable on the mock bike. This is just a huge straightaway at the beginning where you're going to lose time because it's just a straightaway and it's going to be a wheelie. This, um, the middle of the track is just annoying because Cataquux, everyone hates those, but it's so open, there's really no advantage to like having an extra turning radius, unless you're bad enough to actually hit those ducks or whatever they are. And that's just another straightaway. The track is just too short to do anything. There's nothing skill-based. I hate luck tracks. And if you're in a 1v1 on the mock bike on this track, it's very hard um, to do well. There's just not really a shortcut where you can take advantage, and it's just straightaway, and it's short. So... <laughs> I don't I don't think Peach Beach is a good track. I mean again, it's not Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road almost deserves its own uh, its own tier, but it, it's down there with with Luigi Mario Circuit. It's just not a good time on the walk bike, especially in like a 1v1 or something. Uh, next up we have Waluigi Stadium. Um, this one's gonna go pretty high, but there's a lot of notable advantages in Waluigi Stadium. A lot of very sharp turns, hairpin turns. Um, some you can trap better than others. But overall, the mock bike, it's very comfortable on them. You can just drive fast in certain parts of the track in Funky Kong. It's the beginning, there's a really nice strat on the mock bike where you hold your drift and you hold back, and you just get a huge, just better turning radius. 
than the Funky Kongs get. Um, you have the wall little trick where you hit the wall and you trick and then you just speed off, which is better on the mock bike, or at least as good as Funky Kong. Um, there's a few straightaways. There's a lot of boost panels and tricks also, so that kind of takes away from the Funky Kong speed. Overall, it's a nice track to play, and I feel like there's some advantages, or, or a lot of advantages, honestly, to using Funky Kong. I like this track. I don't know if I'd call it an instant counter pick. I'm also a little biased. I don't love playing this track, even though I have advantages here. There's just some stuff about it that annoys me. It's a pretty bouncy track, and because Daisy's lighter, some of that airtime can take away a little bit from Funky Kong. Uh, I'm trying to think also. Um, and yeah, also Funky Kong can bump you around. It is one of the more, you can get your race kind of messed up if you get hit by Funky Kong at the wrong moment. There are a few areas you can get bumped and then just lose a lot of time. So those are a few things to keep in mind. But overall, it's a really nice track to drive on, and you can really have some control, especially if you can front run on this track in a room of Funky Kong. So I really like it, and I recommend checking it out on the Mach Bike. Next up, we have Bowser Castle 64, um, which, is, which is interesting. I'm trying to think here, but I am going to go neutral. So yes, biggest con. That's, that means this track can't be above neutral. There are so many straightaways, and you're using the mock bike, so you're going to be losing a little time, and it's it's hard to keep a real lead against Funky Kongs. Um, it's probably a hard track to 1v1 in. But in chaotic 10, 12-player pro rooms of all Funky Kongs, I actually like this track a lot. And again, there's so many traps in these narrow castle corridors. I like the maneuverability. I like being able to take turns tight. I like being able to avoid stuff. Um, there's a pretty sharp near hairpin turn around halfway through the track once you get to the bottom of the stairs. Um, and a shortcut that goes with it, that's an area the mock bike has an advantage. There's a few areas you, you can get bumped off, which are a disadvantage. There is the drawbridge midway through the track where you can get bumped off. Actually, there's two drawbridges. One's more like a wooden plank, one's an actual drawbridge. They both have wood on them. You can get bumped off both. Um, you can get bumped in the wall, which isn't as bad, but it still sucks. Um, the shortcut at the end, I think, is easier with the mock bike. Uh, just you just have so much more maneuverability, even like literally turning a mid-air adjustments, I call it. Uh, and then at the end, you don't need to spin drift. You don't need to like drift into the wall. You can do all that stuff. But if you just turn after the shortcut, the rail shortcut, normally, you are going to not hit the wall. Uh, you know, I don't. And I really like this track on the mock bike. I make it like 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10 times. On the Flame Runner, it's probably more difficult. Also, I don't know. Um, there's something about this track. I, I, just, I just like this track, but I'm, I'm also biased. <laughs> but I'm going to go neutral overall. Um, I, I'm getting the pros and cons straightaways, um, but there's just places you want to have maneuverability. It's neutral. I think it's high neutral, honestly. Um, next up, we have Jungle Parkway. Which I'm also going to go Notable Advantages. Um, I think it's solidly in the Notable Advantage category um, without really a lot of debate. There are pretty sharp turns around, which is nice. But there's also some straightaways, and it's more of an open track, so I don't know if I love it needing the key maneuverability. And there's a ton of places to trap. Um, there's the bridge at the end, just the bridge before the cave where you would like some extra maneuverability to avoid stuff, which you have, so that's nice. And then really the cave, you have a pretty clear advantage. That turn at the end is a lot more pleasant on the mock bike, on the flame runner. It's, you can hit the wall if you don't know what you're doing. And that actual small shortcut that goes with it is a lot more pleasant on the mock bike. And I don't know how well you can even make it on the flame runner. And that's before the end of the, end of the race. So that's a really important spot to have an advantage. So yeah, overall notable advantages. I can't really go instant counter pick. I don't think I can really front run this track like the other two, but I can hold my own against Funky Kong players. I can absolutely hold my own. There are some key advantages here where you can have a good time. I'm also not the absolute best at this track. Some people are just are probably really good at this track. I mean, it's a very unpopular track, so I don't know if a lot of people are DK Jungle Parkway enthusiasts, but, you know, go check it out. It's a good time to race against Funky Kongs. Um, Mario Raceway is just the epitome of Mario Kart, and just, it's just, it just is Mario Kart Week, kind of like Mushroom Gorge is. I think that there's a few areas that you can have some extra maneuverability, but such a wide open track and such a luck-based track is not really a key advantage to the mock bike. So yeah, I'm going to say unfavorable. I can't really go neutral. After all, um, 
Sherbert Land. Okay, Sherbert Land, you guys are going to absolutely hate me for this, but I, I can't deny, guys, Sherbert Land is an instant counter pick if you're on the mock bike. And I don't know if it goes to the same level as these other two. These other two just have mock bike written all over them in order to greatest feeling thing to ever play sherbert land is a little bit more um i don't know what you'd call sherbert land it just sucks to race on because the ice it's a magic cruiser track but like that doesn't mean the mock bike doesn't have a key advantage if you're on the funky kong it's torrid on the mock bike it, you know it's less torrid than using funky kong but it, it you know it's just the, the level of being less torn is what matters. Just turns that are near impossible on the flame runner are doable on the mock bike. Are they as nice as the, the magic cruiser? Of course not, but they're still doable. And I think it's just a key advantage. Also, the off road strat, again, it matters. The mock bike has a better off road than the flame runner. So, as I said, it's, it's Shy Guy Beach on steroids. The off road thing, it matters, but it's like level two off road. Level two off road instead of level one off road, and it's off road the entire track. The entire track's off road, so you're actually going faster than Funky Kong mathematically in the entire track with a better turning radius. I don't know how that's on instant counter pick. The only real con I can think of is you can get bumped off, um, but it's you're not getting bumped off like any of these tracks, and it's a long enough track that I feel like you're you're fair to catch up. It's not like Rainbow Road. Or even Goldmine, where if you get bumped off, it's an elimination track, and you're in the back. These these races can be close, and you can get caught up. But also, I think it's a pretty legit track to front run in a group of Funky Kongs. And there's some really sharp turns where you can set clear traps and really mess up Funky Kongs and make them have a bad time. It's an instant counter pick, guys. It just is. It's Sherberland. Go vote for an online. Um... Delfino Square, um, I, I want to go neutral here, but also part of me says unfavorable because there are a lot of straightaways. Um, I do have to go... <clears throat> I do have to go unfavorable here. There are a lot of straightaways on this track, and uh, you, it's hard to gain, gain an advantage. Um the main advantage, I think, is that the the shortcuts. I like the mock bike for those. The um, dock cut or whatever it's called, it's a little easier on the mock bike, I think. And you can also avoid traps if someone puts it a little bit easier. Um, mock bike's a little bit floatier, floater, so it's probably floater. A little bit floatier. It, it you know, you get a little bit more air, so it's a little bit easier to make the dock jump, I think. Um, the double cut slash cutting between the buildings, that shortcut, I think is easier. You get more of a turning radius, you're less likely to hit a building or fall off at the end of it. And, you know, smaller hitbox, easier to make the shortcut without turning really far. So I like that. But still, there's a ton of straightaways, and particularly at the beginning, you're going to lose a lot of time. So it's, it's a little bit favorable. Desert Hills is a, um, it's an off-road track. Um, yeah, Desert Hills is an off-road track. It's like Shy Guy Beach. It's got the sand texture. So it's, it's like off-road level one, but it's still off-road. So I don't know if you're faster than Funky Kong on this track, but I feel like that with the drift component, it's hard to have a um, real disadvantage for speed. And then at the end, you're going to gain a lot of speed, a lot of time, because those hills are very sharp. Um, I don't really care about the shortcuts. Um, but yeah, but because of the ending, uh, it's, it has, has some notable advantages. I think it's lower in scale, but it has notable advantages. I can't ignore that. Uh, we have two tracks left. We have Peach Gardens and Yoshi Falls. Um, I don't know what to do with Peach Gardens. I'm trying to have some thoughts. I'm going to put it as a low neutral track. There's not as many straightaways as these tracks. There's not really any areas you get bumped off. So those are pluses versus the unfavorable section. And there are some of like the flower beds where you're kind of cutting on the inside of the flower bed. There's a few really tight corners, also like kind of like the hedge section before the last item box where the where the moles are. There's a few tighter turns, and there's some um, there's some tight areas, and you want to have the turning radius. Um, so I'm going to say neutral. I think it's a lower neutral. I don't think there's any real super clear advantages, but I don't think it's a track that you just are disadvantaged on. Um, using the mock bike. 
And finally, we have Yoshi Falls, which again, I can't fault but put this in the unplayable section. Yoshi Falls, especially in a 1v1, is absolutely unplayable on the mock bike. Um, I don't even know about getting bumped off. I guess you could, but I'm not even thinking about that. There's, uh, there's boost panels. You can't really get caught up easily with like an item, so if, you, if you're just disadvantaged, there's not a lot you can do. Same problem as Peach Beach. It's just such an open track that all that matters is speed, honestly, because there's just like no tight lines you can take or anything. It's just a suit. It's just a circle, and that's not why you play the mock bike. And that's it. So this is my this is my video finally. So we have here, you know, our instant counter picks, of course, two tracks that are just unplayable, Funky Kong, and one broken track in general, which we get into. You have some tracks with notable advantages, where you know. You want to play them online. Some of these you'd probably make counter picks. Uh, you have neutral tracks, which say what you want. I mean, I don't think there's an advantage or disadvantage. There's probably some pros and cons. Unfavorable tracks where it's not the greatest to play, but I mean, you, you can still win some races on these. You know, it's not like things are over. You just have to work a little bit more or something go your way. And, and then you do have the unplayable tracks, which just I haven't really won here in a pro room before it just isn't a good time and honestly because we're here um i just need to honestly i think just make a new section um and just call this can i get out of here um, we're going off script here but this is rainbow road we just have to we just have to make our own section here guys rainbow road is just it, it's just so bad just don't go to rainbow road on the mock bike you'll never win a race in a pro room i don't think i ever have <laughs> he just won't but here's my here's my tier list for the mock bike tracks in the game i hope you enjoyed and i'll hopefully do another one of these in the future this is pretty fun to make here you go